Hey there. I was asked if the egg life wraps do okay when they're frozen. Well, I the ones I had before was the Everything Bagel, and they're not my favorite for egg sandwiches. So, I have one, and we are going to stick it in the freezer. Um, here, we'll just stick it right there for now. And then, this weekend, or next week, we'll take them out and see what we think after they've been frozen. So, today's Wednesday, and we're going to put them in and see how they go. Hello, it's Thursday evening. Um, I'm setting my coffee out. You know, sometimes I can't. My Roomba runs in the morning, so it gets a little loud. So, sometimes, you know, that's why I played the music this morning, because Roomba was blaring. So, my protein coffee in the morning is 20 ounces of microwaved water. It is one half scoop of isopure zero carb protein powder. It's half of a scoop. It has two tablespoons of Taster's Choice instant coffee and one packet of Element chocolate salt. Hey, you can use my code. I'm just kidding, I don't have a code. Anyway, and I use one package of these and that is what's in here. So in the morning, if you don't hear, you know, if I can't play the the video and it's because Roomba's too loud. Anyway, so I like to set this ready over here at night so it's ready in the morning. Um, I'll be taking, I've got um, eight ounces, 73% ground beef and some of my salsa that I made up. Um, let's see, let's think of seasoning. I don't need onion in there because the... Um, the, the salsa had some in it. Um, but I am going to put a little bit of my Slap Your Mama along with a little bit of adobo. Some paprika. I'm going to put a little bit of dehydrated garlic. And I'll put some um, everything bagel seasoning. I'm just, let's just put everything in it by George. Everything bagel. Put some of this garlic one. I think I have some of this in there. Let's put a little Greek seasoning. We're gonna put literally one of all of this is gonna be in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be flavorful tomorrow. It might need a little salt, so I'll just put a little salt in there. There we go. So I'm gonna take this tomorrow. <clears throat> Get my little lunch box. So that'll be for the, that'll go in there. I pop this in the refrigerator and I'll grab it in the morning. Um, I'm gonna grab the little paper, hang on. I have not read your comments yet. Um, I had asked if anybody knew of a good way to make my eggs not stick to, I use a glass pan, so it's not even a metal pan that, you know, has been broken down over the years, it's a glass pan. Um, but like I said, my egg casserole always sticks. Doesn't matter how much, how much spray or how much whatever I put in it, it always sticks. So I'm putting this in there to kind of maybe make it shake a little bit. So if you have a method to keep your eggs from sticking when you're making an egg casserole, let me know down in the comments, and I, I'll go back after this and read the comments from my last video, because I always read my comments, because you guys, holy smokes, you guys are brilliant. You all know so much, and I love you all. I love you all so much. I mean, come on, you got me a handle for both my lids. I'm never going to forget you all for that. Along with the, you gave me great ideas for, um, for the gifts for the white elephant thing. Oh my gosh, there are some awesome gift, uh, gift ideas that y'all have given me. I'm telling you, y'all are awesome. Y'all are smart. So anyway, yeah. So if you know any way to make it the egg not stick, then that would be awesome. I do have, I did buy, hang on. I bought some of these because I was going to use them for my um, salsa when I make it and that um, onion and pepper and mushroom thing. I was going to put them in here 
and then freeze them and then I'll be able to one of you all see this is you all one of y'all suggested I use this so I can go bloop and push them out but I don't know the eggs might stick to this I could use paper you know the little paper wrappers but then if they stick to that I'll be mad and then I'll be trying to scrape it off with my teeth and then I'll be mad because then I'll get paper all in my mouth so what is your tip for keeping your eggs from sticking put it in the comments so I know okay anyway let me put this away and I'll leave this here in the morning I'll mix up my coffee and I'll sit this extra one back for Friday and there we go all right I'll see you at breakfast in the morning this that's why I don't have to turn my heater on in the winter at least not for a long time well I did earlier in the year but this boy is pressed so tight up against me you couldn't even put a, put a piece of paper between us it's, uh, that's his butt up here by my face uh, then I got this one over here and then down there yeah I think you can see here yeah so the whole bed is covered and that is why I stay warm. Seven fifteen, but I got a meeting in about about an hour, so I gotta eat. So I'm gonna be eating my breakfast burritos, and I've still got my protein coffee. So that's where we're at. Okay, bye. 
Hello. I've got my um, eight ounces of 73% ground beef and it's got the salsa and seasoning. So let's see what we think. It's going to be good. So that's my lunch. Y'all, I've been talking and talking and talking. I done forgot everything I said. I told y'all a big story and everything. Well, shoot. All right. This is my 78% ground beef. I put some uh, minced onions and some garlic and some Greek and some adobo and some everything bagel and some slap your mama. I put all that in there. And then this, this was um, my mashed jicama. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm having for supper. Doggone, now I'm sad. I'm sad. I told you a long story and everything. But the whole reason why I told you is going because I threw it away. So, anyway, so sorry, y'all. That's my supper tonight. Jicama and ground beef. I'll tell you. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I took the dogs for a walk. And uh, this time we walked around the block, which worked out well. Saturday is going to be a lot going on for me. Well, not meal prepping Saturday. Um, uh, uh, my... A lady who I'm friends with, I've known her since I was 16, um, she and I used to work together. We're going to get together at Applebee's, and um, and she just wants to talk about keto and, and weight loss, so I'll be meeting her on Saturday. And then afterwards, I'm going to a friend's house. She wants a little help organizing her closet of clothes, so I'll be doing that. So um, that's kind of going to be my Saturday. Sunday, I'm going to figure out how to... I, how I'm gonna make that egg casserole and hopefully it won't stick to the to the glass pan. Anyway, so that's my game plan for the weekend. So yeah, okay, bye. Here's my macros for the day. Have a good night.